All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. I would like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect, and shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch, and uh, pretty much um, I saw this lesson by the brother uh, uh, Amoth of San Diego, uh, San Diego, California branch, and shout out to that brother Fisher Turn Hunter, and uh, pretty much he did a lesson on a particular individual, um, Judah Maccabees, all right, and uh, pretty much I went to his channel, uh, Judas Maccabees, and he did a, a lesson, it was titled something, and I guess it was to rebuke the brother Amawan Abad, and he showed their personal talk, and uh, he was pretty much saying he was being a bully, and all this other stuff, and he said he knew that there's no such thing as white people, and all this other stuff he went into, and then, um, yeah, man, long story short, man, this lesson isn't going to be to rebuke him, because he's already been rebuked by this brother, the brother of Martha San Diego, and the elder apostle, I mean, the elder of GMS Dallas, Salakia, the, the elder of GMS Dallas, uh, Elder Yashawamba, did a rebuking lesson. And I'm pretty sure other brothers is doing a rebuking lesson and uh, elders is going to be doing rebuking lessons. But for this lesson that I'm going to do for my lesson is basically uh, exhortation. All right. And uh, examining. All right. We're all walking on eggshells, including myself. Now, when I saw this video, well, I actually before I even went to this video, um, I saw a post um, of him, this individual that's on this video put up, you know, and I saw the title of the lesson, the brother Moff shared it, so I checked it out, I watched the whole entire lesson, very good, powerful lesson, Akia, the brother uh, Moth of San Diego, but um, <clears throat> this this guy, uh, this brother Judas Maccabees, um, this isn't really a rebuking lesson, like I said before, this is basically a video on exhortation, and uh, you know, I'm going to get the precept out this is second corinthians 13, uh, 13 and 5 it says examine yourselves rather ye be in the faith it says prove your own selves know ye not your own selves how that your house shy hamashiach is in you except you be reprobates so you know the main thing i'm not saying he's a reprobate but the main thing that the scriptures give us instructions in is to examine ourselves all right and that's where it first starts before you can even do a video you know, upload a video, you know, um, you know, look and look at something. If a, if a brother's rebuking you, it's clearly something that you got to look at first before you can respond. You know, and that's that's one thing with me. Um, you know, I've, I've been rebuked by my big brother, Howard Shai Zion, many times. He can tell you. If you talk to him in person, he would tell you. Yeah, I, when I first came into this truth, man, I was being rebuked many times by Howard Shai Zion. But, hey, what did it do? It built me up. It built me up. You know, through the spirit, it built me up. I've been rebuked by other brothers in this truth, too. I've been rebuked by the brother of Moth, matter of fact. You know, I don't ever bulk up at that brother. I don't bulk up at any brother. You know, it depends on who the individual is. Now, if an individual coming at me with some bugged out shit like the book of Enoch and fallen angels and coming at me with false doctrine, then I'm not going to accept that rebuke. I just know you're a bug out. But if you're a sincere brother and you know the truth, you and the truth, it's clearly you may know something that I don't know. So I'm not going to bulk up against any, 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 any brother that's in the truth, that's teaching the same doctrine in Great Millstone or that's in Great Millstone because that brother, the Lord, can be speaking through that individual, you know. And, uh, you know, uh, well, I'm going to say well, this thing real quick and then I'm going to hop to the scriptures. But, um, you know, one thing, man, and I'll say for myself, you know, is examining, man. We're all walking on eggshells. Examine, examine, examine. And let me get the meaning for examine. 
because that's what I was actually trying to get to. And when you go into the meaning of that word, examine, because I just get the main meat, the main point, because I read it, examine. You want to examine yourselves. Examine, observe, check out, and look over carefully or inspect. And that's what you want to do. You want to examine yourself. You want to look at what you're saying. You want to look at what you're teaching. You want to look at what you're doing first. All right? And, you know, one thing I've learned in this truth by brothers at Great Millstone, and they always said it, if you're not sure of something, don't teach it. Really, you know, look up a lesson and study it, then teach it. Don't just, yeah, I'm gonna do, I got to do a lesson. I'm just going to upload this and just say this and just do that. It's, it don't work like that. All right? There's instructions given in the scriptures that we all have to follow and apply by. All right? The elders and brothers, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and to the sincere brothers, they know what they're talking about if they're rebuking you. Clearly. Ain't nobody just going to rebuke you just to rebuke you, man. And I'm speaking for myself first and foremost, man. I'm, this ain't to that brother Judas Maccabees or to any brother out there. We are all walking on eggshells ourselves. And we, it's good to examine yourself, man. That's why Elder Apostle Ramlev said in his lesson with exhortation, you want to watch how you put yourself on camera. Watch what you say. Watch what you do. All right? Because whatever you're doing and how you're teaching things and the brother catch across that, you're going to get put up as an example. And it's strictly business. It's not about destroying a brother's image, hurting a brother. It's not about that. You're going off, you're going off, man. If you're going off, you're going off. All right? You know? And the things that he was saying in his video was going off. You know? So you got to examine yourself, brother. Examine yourself. You know? Just swallow it. Repent, you know, do a video responding, saying Salakia, you know, take the video down. It's not going it's not, it's not to affect you, bro, because you're working out your own salvation, you know. But I'm just speaking for me, man, myself. You know, I will immediately say Salakia, man, because, you know. But it's best thing, the best thing, though, is not to upload a video if you're not sure, don't just go up and just start teaching stuff. And that's what Jake do. They don't, they don't exhort themselves. They don't look at what they're doing or what they're saying or what they're what they doing. They just go and just do it. No, you don't do that because you, you could be that individual to be put up as an example, you know. And I'm not just doing this lesson just to do it. I'm really being serious. By me watching that video by the brother of Moth and, and Elder uh, Yashawamba of Dallas, the Lord just, through the Spirit, my Spirit just said, you need to do more examining, you know. For me, for myself, I need to do more examining. Because that's just, the Lord is showing you right there. When a person is put up as an example, it, the Lord is telling you something as well. Not just, that not just that individual. The Lord is showing you something for a reason if you come across a video like that. More exhortation, more examining, you know, more humble, being more humble. So like it for the rambling, it's just, you know, the Spirit is on me, you know, just do this quick little testimony proverbs 16 18 and this is the downfall for a lot of individuals and i don't want this on me i pray yahweh Mashiach, keep me in a right state of mind a right spirit keep me sincere keep me humble man because that's one thing i always learned from my big bro how shy zion is humility man you got to be humble in this truth no matter how long of a journey you have you got to be humble man you got to be humble especially if you if you going off on on a particular particular thing particular topic man that's serious because you got followers proverbs 16 18 pride go up before destruction right pride go up before destruction so you don't want to be prideful all right you could be destroyed for being prideful yeah you could be destroyed for that because the lord's speaking through his men to rebuke a particular individual and then you're not accepting that correction you're just taking it as hate and then moving forward and being bold Hey, you causing yourself to be condemned from receiving salvation. And that's what a lot of Jakes ain't looking at. It says in a haughty spirit before a fall, a lot of individuals is being brought out to the light. Now, I'm not calling this brother a, a, a reprobate, you know. I'm not going to call him a reprobate, you know. I'm not going to call him any, any, any uh, name because at the end of the day, we're all growing in this truth. I'm growing in this truth, you know. But the main thing is, my main point is, is repenting and, and, and humbling yourself down, man. Humble yourself down, man. You know? 
Because, hey, man, we're in these last days. It's really time to humble down and just take the videos down, man. Repent. Take the videos down and, and keep it pushing, you know. Don't 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 allow that pride demon to, to get effect to you because you got a lot of subscribers. And that's what that's what messes up a lot of Jake's, the vainglory spirit. The pride spirit leads to the vainglory spirit, man. You know? So let's read that again. Proverbs 16, 18, so like it for the rambling. Pride go up before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Previously, throughout this year, we didn't seen a lot of individuals be brought out to the light. A lot of individuals have been brought out to the light, and a lot of individuals have been put up as an example. You had men that were elders in GMS that got brought out to the light, that got kicked out and got brought out to the light. So this is why you want to ex examine yourself. Everybody's walking on eggshells, including myself. Examine yourself, man. That's what this is mainly about, examining and taking heed onto the doctrine, all right? And I'm going to get out of... Um, 1 Timothy 4, and uh, I'll start at verse 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly in the, in, it's like a, that in the later times shall, shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. And that's what happened to a lot of individuals. You know, these seducing spirits, man. You know, these doctrines of devils. You take a heed and listen. That's why you're supposed to follow only one group, which is Great Millstone. You know, don't follow all these other groups. Don't think that... You know, you can follow Great Millstone, have that truth, and then you go to the conscious movement and try to get that and then mix it with the truth. No, you're going to be fucking bugged out because they're not teaching the same doctrine. Just follow Great Millstone. Only tune in to Great Millstone, man. Verse 2, it says, Speaking lies and, and, and hypocrisy, having their consciences shared with a hot iron. Verse 3, forbidding to marry and and commanding to obtain the meats which Yahweh have created to be received with thanksgiving and of them which do believe and know the truth. And that's what it's about. So you want to follow those men, those men that have the truth. All right. You don't want to be following, you know, all these different groups and all these different individuals, man. You know, you will be bugged out, confused. You don't want to be doing that. You want to follow the prophets, the men of the Lord. All right, and those men are the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Let's get to the main point. Second Timothy four and three, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. All right, and I'm not saying Judas Maccabees is not enduring sound doctrine. Maybe he made a mistake. Maybe he didn't. He didn't really fully, you know, get that breakdown. You know, maybe he just, you know, just, you know, just decided to teach off of his own thought. You know, and that's that's why something again that goes with exhortation. You know, look up a breakdown on that. There's many videos and lessons that the elders and brothers have done on that particular subject, all right, of Israelites having concubines. It's so many lessons on that, you know. But, you know, maybe in his, in his mind, you know, he just thought that he knew what he was talking about. That happens too. But you don't want to be blinded by your opinions. You want to go by what the scriptures say. That's why the scriptures is what matters. And you want to know, you want to break them down correctly you know second timothy four and three for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears verse four and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned onto fables and we've seen this happen to many individuals now i'm not saying judas maccabees is is, is has left the truth and you know became you know worldly but this is what it'll lead to if you don't repent if you don't come out of that prideful spirit, it will lead to you doing this. And you don't want to be doing that. All right? That's why the scriptures tells us in uh, 1 Timothy 4 and 11, this is why the scriptures tells us this. This is why the scriptures give us instructions. 1 Timothy 4 and 11, it says, These things command and teach. Let no man despise thy youth. This is the main point. Be thou an example to the believers. And that, that brother uh, Judas Maccabees, you have a you have a lot of subscribers, man. You have a lot of followers. You have a lot of people that follow you. And by the things that you're teaching, you're affecting the doctrine, but you're main, mainly affecting the sheep because you have 1.21K subscribers. You have a lot of subscribers, and you haven't been in the truth that long, brother. You know, you have not been in the truth that long, you know. 
and you have, you know, it's not about subscribers, but that's a lot of, of, of followers. So you got to be an example to the believers. And by you getting rebuked, don't look at it as, oh, you know, this is going to affect my, 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 my subscribers. This is going to affect my channel. This is going to affect me, people following me, people liking me. It's not about any of that. It's about the gospel. It's about the truth. All right? So you got to let that spirit go. And that's what it's about. His pride, he's worried about losing his subscribers, his, his, his channel, his followers. But you're leading them astray. And if you don't repent and come out of that, that uh, spirit, you know, that video that you taught, that doctrine, if you don't come out of that, you're going to be held accountable for that because you're teaching false doctrine to the sheep. That's what it's about. You know? It says, let no man despise thy youth. Be thou an example to the believers. See, be thou an example. You're an, you're an example. All right? When you're on camera, you're, you're, you're claiming to speak in the name of the Lord. You're an example to the believers. So what you're teaching, they're going to believe in that, and they're going to teach that. That's bad. You don't want to be doing that. It says, in word and conversation and charity and spirit and faith and purity. That's how you want to be to the believers. You want to be an example in word and conversation, charity, spirit, and faith and purity. You don't want to be teaching false doctrine. Because that's going to affect the followers. That's going to affect the people that tune into your lessons. And I tell my, I tell my guys all the time that's in Servancy and Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii Camp, be on point. Don't be teaching false doctrine. Don't teach what you want to teach. Don't say what you want to say. Examine yourself. Watch what you say. Watch what you bring out. You know? Because we don't want to be going off. That's why we examine ourselves. You know? And if you get rebuked, you get rebuked, man. You know? That's the main thing, you know, examining yourself and repenting, man. And I'm speaking for myself, myself. I'm talking about myself, all right? Uh, verse 13, till I come, give attendance to reading, exhortation, and to doctrine. That's what the Lord requires us to do, and it's true. Reading, give attendance to reading, exhortation, and to doctrine. You got to take heed to that, man. All right? Verse 14, neglect not the gift that is in thee, which says, which was given thee by prophecy, it says, with the lying on of the hands of the prosperitary, all right? Verse 15, it says, meditate upon these things. It says, give thyself wooly to them. It says that thy profiting may appear to all. This is the main point. Verse 16, take heed unto thyself. So take heed unto yourself and unto the doctrine and unto the doctrine. You don't want to add to the doctrine. Because what he was doing, he was adding to it. You're saying that Israelite men can't be with heathen women, which you're totally wrong. King Solomon was with it. Was with he had he had he had heathen women. King Solomon had heathen women. King David had heathen women. Father Abraham had he had heathen women. All right, he had heathen women. Uh, who else had Joseph? Joseph's wife was a heathen. The one that became governor of Egypt. He his wife was a heathen. And he had Manasseh and Ephraim, all right? So there's many prophets in the scriptures we can bring up that had heathen women, you know? And that's why the Lord uh, smited uh, 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 Moses' sister, Miriam, when, she, when her and Aaron was speaking against Moses for having a, a wife as a heathen. The Lord smitten her. She was smitten leprous. That's in the scriptures, man. So you can't, you, you, you know, we can't have heathen women, all right? We're allowed to have heathen women, all right? Verse 16, it says, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, continue in them. So you're supposed to continue in it. And my opinion to, to Judas Maccabees is you should have looked up a lesson first before you, up, before you did that live. If you would have did a live, I mean, if you would have did a, looked up a lesson first and studied that, you probably wouldn't have did that lesson that you did. You wouldn't have. You wouldn't have uploaded that. You wouldn't have did a live doing that, doing that righteous seed and in the beast of the field. You wouldn't have did that lesson. If you would have looked up a video of Great Millstone and studied, you wouldn't have did that. That's why you gotta you gotta look up stuff before you do it, man. That's all point of examine. That's the whole point of examining and exhortation, and mainly for myself. Verse sixteen: Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, continuing them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. So that's what it's all about. Because you got people that follow you, that tune into your lessons. And Judas Maccabees, you be having at least about 80 to 100, Jake's 200 people, 200 Israelites watching your lessons. You know how much of souls you're deceiving doing that? 
You could be destroyed for doing that, man. Verse 16, take heed unto thyself, so take heed unto yourself, and unto the doctrine, unto the doctrine, continue in it. For in doing this, thou shalt save yourself and them that hear thee. If you're teaching false doctrine and you're misleading the flock, you're going to be held accountable for that. That's why you want to examine yourself, man. So, hey, man, I'm not going to get too carried away on this topic. You know, the Lord put the Spirit on me to, to do this lesson. Again, this wasn't a rebuking lesson to you, yeah, Judas Maccabees, or to any brother out there. You know, this, this lesson basically just, you know, the Lord told me, you know, we're all walking on eggshells at the end of the day, and you want to really examine yourself. If you're not sure of something, do not upload a video. If you're not sure of certain breakdowns, do not upload a video, all right? Make sure you get the lesson, you get the breakdown, you take notes on it, you study it really well, and then do it. Don't upload something if you're not sure of that, break, sure of that breakdown. Because if you get to saying something or teaching something, you want to make sure you're teaching something that is exactly according to the scriptures, which is 100% true. You don't ever want to teach something that the elders don't teach. Because that will put you up as an example, and you'll be labeled as a false prophet. You don't want that, man. So, hey, Lord, one of us, is that a fine? I want to give honors, glory, praise to you. How about you, man? Shabbat Shem Kakwadash. And double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full light. And shalom to you, sincere brother, scattered abroad, pushing forth this word of truth and sincerity. And Lord, one of us, that's a fine. Until the next time, I say, shalom. So, hey, man, really examine yourself. Shalom.